Hi, I'm Bunny Williams of Undead Cow Studios, and I have been thinking of how they do the effects in the opening of Daredevil. A kind of waxy look. Uh, so, we're going to do an experiment slash tutorial about this. Uh, see if we can recreate it. So I thought of a couple of CG ways to try to do something like that in After Effects with maybe a 3D program like Maya or Cinema 4D. Um, but I thought maybe more of a practical approach. So what I'm thinking is if you actually physically build the city and paint the city and the backdrop green, then you can key it all out and only see the wax running across. So that's what we're going to be trying here. So I got this little figure and it has quite a lot of detail on it. And I'm going to put it in a little scene, paint it green, and then I also have a uh, bit of a modified box here that I am going to paint green as well so that the house then goes into the box and except for shadows, some minor imperfections, things like that, we can key all of this out and just pour wax across the top of the house. So we should just see the wax itself and everything else should be keyed out. So that's what we're going to be trying here. So the next step is to paint these two things. Okay, so here's what you're going to need. You're going to need some green paint. And I just got this from home uh, from Ace Hardware. Uh, it is Hosta Green. Um, I really don't see spending money on special green screen paint. They charge a lot more of that. So we're going to put our bucket aside. We got our little building. We got our little building, so we're going to do him first. Put the box on the side. And this just has a lot of really nice details. just to paint some. Get all the little details. This piece has a lot of details and we don't want to lose any of them so we don't want to go too heavy. Are you a woman in the Utah area looking for ugly clothing? then stop on down to the Black Dress Warehouse. We are Utah's leading supplier of black or dark gray dresses. Do you want to look like a housewife? Do you want to look like a woman who is suffering depression or is possibly mourning the loss of a, of a loved one? Or perhaps you're a woman being haunted by the grim specter of death. If you are, then come on down to Black Dress Warehouse. We sell black dresses, and that's it. Off of Route 9 and Main Street, Black Dress Warehouse. And that's it. We will check back when this is dry and see if eh, maybe it needs another coat or maybe it's possibly green enough, but we will just try to slide this over carefully out of the way. I'm getting nice and green too. <laughs> and then we'll go ahead and paint the inside of our box. This is 
is a pointless waste of time. So here is our little house in our box with lighting to try to minimize the shadow as much as humanly possible. And it looks pretty good. Uh, none of the items really needed a second coat, uh, but they did need a little bit of touch-up work after the first coat dried. Now all we need to do is pour the wax. Now for the wax itself, we pretty much just used what we had around the house. So we melted down some old candles that we weren't using anymore, broke some crayons in it, did what we can to try to match the color as much as we could. Uh, but it does seem as if we would have better results if we used a better grade of wax. So if we try this experiment again, that is something that we may keep in mind. At this point, I'm just gonna trim this clip down to a size that I need for the actual effect. And let's get it on over to After Effects and finish this up. So after trimming down our clip, I opened After Effects, pulled the clip in, and dropped it into a new composition. I've done a RAM preview so that you could see what the full length of the clip is that we're starting out with. So let's get a look here. And there we are. So to start, I want to smooth out the colors of the green. So I'm going to get smooth screen. And we're going to get the eyedropper and say that we all want it to be right around that color. So using another smooth screen gets it just a little bit smoother there. We have kind of a harsh edge right underneath it. That's going to be a little bit of a problem, but we can fix that before with a with a mat. Then we go to key light and key all those colors out. And let's see if we can just clean it up a little bit by going to screen mat. And let's see here. Let's try bringing up the gain. Usually don't want to bring the gain up too high. Get to a part where we can see some of the wax. And basically when it comes to key light, you just sort of start messing around with those settings to try to get that key as good as you can get in each clip. Each clip is different. So I'm just mostly trying to concentrate and seeing how much of this white line I can get out. That screen game doesn't look like it's hurting the actual wax very much. Balance some. Go into the screen mat section. Try bringing down the white clip some. No, it's just making that whiter. Let's just try bringing the black clipping up. And that looks like that's got that's gotten a rid of a lot of the line. While we're working on it, let's just throw a white solid on the back. And that doesn't look too bad. Now I'm going to try to get it into a similar color. Something like that. Maybe 
be a little lighter. Get some more contrast. And I'm going to do another RAM preview to see if we get any artifacting from our problem spots. So here's the RAM preview. Looks like we have a small trouble spot right there. We're going to want to get rid of the pouring. And then there's this little bit right here that's just kind of unsightly. So we're going to go to where it's pretty much finished here. And we're going to grab our pen tool. And we're just going to mask around. I tend to go, to go a little sloppy when I'm masking something out, but then I'll come back and I will adjust that. And close that off. Before doing another RAM preview, I'm going to adjust this mask. First, I'm going to come down to the footage, go to the masks, and invert it. So it's a lot more like what we want to see. I'm going to zoom in. See that little trouble spot right there? and subtract, get rid of that little spot. And then start working on getting our mask a little tighter. Click on mask here so that you can adjust our points. Mostly just want to get that pour out. Might have to add some points somewhere around here. Following along the finished shape. Actually, that's as far as we really need to go there, I think. And let's feather that out just, let's say, three pixels. And now another RAM preview. So here is our next RAM preview. And if you can see, we're catching a little bit of the pour right at the top. So I'm just going to want to adjust that mask a little bit. Pull this down some. Go back to our mask. And I really should have thought of that earlier. It's kind of a waste of time, but there we go. That'll take care of that pouring problem. Then for the speed. Just going to go to time. 
and time stretch. I think I'm going to go back to 200. And of course that throws off our composition. So when we get to the end here, we're not really done. Let's go to composition settings. Yeah, I'm just going to bring it up to a full minute for now. We'll worry about trimming this out later. Now let's work on that color. And the first thing I want to do is the levels. Playing around with the levels. I'm happiest with it right there. Somewhere in there looks pretty good. But I'm going to be adjusting that more. Uh, first, I'm going to get rid of the background. And I am going to render this out with the alpha channel. Not sure what really to call it. Let's just call it wax. And render that out. Okay, so we've rendered out our footage and we have started a new After Effects project. So let's go ahead and get our stuff in here. So the footage, that's what I named wax. Bring that into the project. And I also found a couple of other pictures here that I'd sort of like to add to this as well. So that's this one and this one. Should drag those over as well. Drag wax into a new composition. And these I'm going to just drag right behind. Start on this one, and I'm going to make it a 3D layer. Find which rotation I need. Scale it up. Let's get a look at this one. In our day, we rely on our minds, not search engines. Yeah. Maybe That's like insane. right around yeah. there. It's called an imagination. Why not just shut up and Google that? And I think I'm gonna bring those into their own composition. Let's call that the background. Put a tint on it. And sort of match the colors that way. We're going to take our wax layer, duplicate it, make it a 3D level layer. Back in our day, it was better. 
rotate it. Offset it. Bring it behind the other one. Go get our levels again. I mostly want to crunch it out really dark. Give it a fast blur. Get rid of the other one. The other one's kind of getting in the way. And then lower its opacity a bit. Colors are a bit sharp. What if I throw a flat fast blur on that? Just bring it up. It's like five. That tones down that shininess a little bit. And then we'll add a new adjustment layer. And go to Magic Bullet Looks. Give it a bit of contrast. And I'm just playing around with some of the looks presets. If I find something I like, and then let's go back to levels and see about just lightening this up some. Still a bit shiny, but this is just an experiment, so I'm going to go ahead and render that out. This time, I am going to just render it out in the media encoder, because I'm basically calling this finished, and I'd like to use a different compressor than the AVI. Now that media encoder is, in, is all loaded up, I'm going to save the project. and close out of After Effects. And then I'm going to go into the settings for our render. And I'm gonna set the format to the H.264. And I use the Android tablet 1080p, 23.976 frames a second. So just my preferred settings. And then I am going to go ahead and rename it Daredevil done. And render that out. And there it is. The completed Daredevil effect. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It is the first, so it is a little rough. I'll see about if I do more in the future. Thank you.
Back in our day, we rely on our minds, not search engines. Yeah, due to the state, you may have heard of it. It's called an imagination. Why not just shut up and Google that? For our entertainment.